When we want to know on average how students have scored, we typically use the mean, and these can be calculated for each subscore or for the whole outcome. In this case, the subscores range from 2.5 to 3.3, and the overall for the communication outcome is an average of 2.8. The problem with just providing the average is it doesn't really tell us a lot. If we look at row two, the average alone doesn't tell us tell us if it's because every learner scored a 3 or if it's because half the learners scored a 4 and the other half a 2. We want to summarize by providing a mean. It makes sense to include additional information. It might be the most frequent result, a 3 for all the scores in this case, or the standard deviation. A standard deviation, of course, is a measure of how spread out or how clustered the scores are around the mean. If the data points are all close to the mean, then the standard deviation is close to zero. If the data points are far from the mean, then the standard deviation is far from zero. If all the data values are equal, then the standard deviation is zero.